walkie-talkie. This portable two-way radio revolutionized communication, allowing people to instantly connect across distances without wires or infrastructure. But how did this groundbreaking device come to be? Let's explore the fascinating history behind the invention of the walkie-talkie. To understand the walkie-talkie's origins, we need to step back to the early days of radio communication. In the 1920s and 30s, radio technology was rapidly advancing, but most systems were large, stationary, and required significant power. The need for portable, reliable communication was becoming increasingly apparent, especially for military and emergency services. Enter Donald Hings, a Canadian inventor, and Alfred Gross, an American pioneer in wireless communication. In the late 1930s, both men independently began working on portable two-way radio systems. Hings, working for CMS Company in Canada, developed a portable radio signaling system he called a PACSET. Meanwhile, Gross was experimenting with handheld two-way radios in Cleveland, Ohio. The outbreak of World War II in 1939 accelerated the development of portable communication devices. The military recognized the potential of these inventions for coordinating troops and improving battlefield communication. Hings was asked by the Canadian government to refine his pack set for military use, while Gross's designs caught the attention of the U.S. Office of Strategic Services, a precursor to the CIA. During the war, these portable radios, now commonly referred to as walkie-talkies, proved invaluable. They allowed soldiers to communicate in real time across battlefields, coordinating movements and sharing crucial information. The devices were continually improved throughout the conflict, becoming more compact, durable, and reliable. After the war, the technology behind walkie-talkies was declassified, opening the door for commercial applications. Companies began manufacturing walkie-talkies for civilian use, and they quickly found applications in various industries. Construction sites used them to coordinate workers across large areas. Security personnel employed them for instant communication. Even families began using them for outdoor activities and emergencies. The impact of walkie-talkies on everyday life was significant. They provided a level of mobile communication that had never before been possible. In an era before cell phones, walkie-talkies offered a way for people to stay connected in situations where traditional phones were impractical or unavailable. As technology advanced, so did the walkie-talkie. The advent of transistors in the 1950s allowed for smaller, more energy-efficient designs. Later, the integration of digital technology improved sound quality and range. Today's two-way radios, the modern descendants of those early walkie-talkies, offer features like GPS tracking, text messaging, and even internet connectivity. The invention of the walkie-talkie stands as a pivotal moment in the history of communication. From its origins in the workshops of innovative thinkers like Hings and Gross, through its crucial role in World War II, to its widespread adoption in civilian life, the walkie-talkie has left an indelible mark on how we connect with one another. While smartphones may have taken center stage in personal communication, the spirit of the walkie-talkie lives on in the two-way radios still used by professionals around the world, a testament to the enduring power of its simple, effective design.